Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to go over uh, what to do with a monopoly when we're doing single price monopoly. And then we'll think about some other things too. So we've got this graph. We know this is a monopoly. We've got downward sloping demand. Marginal revenue is on the inside of that. Uh, thing to note here, uh, when the demand is uh, linear, one half of the end of the demand curve is going to be where the marginal revenue uh, intersects the x-axis or the quantity axis there so it's often a question that gets asked there um, what you might want to do is if you're using this for practice uh, look at the graph see what profit maximizing price quantity and I guess you do quantity first profit maximizing quantity profit maximizing price are they making a profit or a loss what's the dead weight loss all that stuff uh, so if you wanted to pause the video you could do that and then you'll see me answer the question Okay, if you pause the video, um, we, we, what we do is we look for profit maximizing uh, output is always going to be where MR equals MC. Okay, let's write with a different color. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, so where does MR equal MC? So we go down on MR, it equals MC right there. So that's 200. We're going to produce 200 uh, rounds of golf as a service, I guess follow this up to here it's going to be $150 fancy course here so $150 uh, if you were calculating the total revenue total revenue for that if you were asked to do that would be 200 times 150 okay so that's pretty easy um, it's not what the questions asking here but just in case uh, let's do it right here 200 times 150 uh, would be 30,000 would be uh, total revenue 30,000 okay and now uh, average cost per round so we're right here and then we're going to come we're going to find wherever average to, average total uh, cost is so we've come down here average total cost is 100 so 100 would be the average total cost per round and then the total cost in case you were trying to figure that out that would be the average total cost which is a hundred times uh, 200 which would be the, uh, the the quantity there so that would be 200 and then we'll just tack on the two zeros so we can actually see the profit uh, is the difference between those two which would be 10,000 now an easier way to do this would just be uh, to calculate the uh, difference here so they're going to make fifty dollars per unit or per golf round and then we're going to multiply that by 200 okay which is also ten thousand to get the same answer okay so the per unit profit um, if you wanted to do dead weight loss question isn't asked for isn't asking that but it's good to, to note when there's a profit maximizing problem with a monopoly uh, we're just going to calculate the area of this triangle so what it is is it's the difference between wow i can't can't write very straight here so just use the straight line tool it's the difference between what the market's going to produce in perfect competition and what we're going to get in the monopoly the sort of the value of that so it's it's that dead weight loss right there so let's go back to here so the formula for that I don't know why it doesn't stay like that one half and then it's 150 down to 50 so that's a hundred for that part of the triangle and then from 200 to uh, 250 would be 50 so that's 50 one two one two three zeros five thousand uh, and then half of that would be 2500 Okay, and that's in dollars. That's the dead weight loss if you had to calculate that. Okay, uh, all right. So that's how to calculate. Uh, oh, and I guess last thing, if you were asked perfectly price discriminating monopolist, if you wanted to know what that was, uh, that's going to be right there because that's where the demand equals marginal cost, which coincidentally is also the unit elastic point. So when MR is zero that's where your unit elastic or where, where total revenue is maximized 
Okay, and so there's other more specific videos on that, but that's how to take apart uh, simple monopoly just like that.